saying. Do you guys remember the uh, Hot of the Swarm campaign? Where where you're playing as Kerrigan and Abathur, uh, or Zagar, right? And basically what you do is you, you shove a lava and you get it to go sneak up someone's uh, bunghole. And, uh, and then you, you take over the protos from the inside. Something like that basically happened, um, and now I have possessed pig for the day. So, by the end of today, we are going to have more depth in the Book of Filth than ever before. It is going to be disgusting. It, it is going to be a guide for all those who want to infest the ladder. You can tell Dakalo is not a true cheeser, because he's criticizing the formatting of the Book of Filth. As if... Ugh. Oh my... <laughs> oh my, one does not understand. A true cheeser does not care about formatting. A true cheeser simply cheeses. One does not need neat lines, clearly delineated transitions, or any of that. One simply needs to fuck shit up. You don't need fucking formatting. The normies would never let us publish this anyway, mate. Never. You think they would let this get out? You think they would? No chance. So I'm trying to think of a really good TVT build, guys. Uh... Ooh. Um... That's not the same one that I did before. I'm gonna ask him for a real quick pause. I'm trying to remember if there's, if there's another TVT build I have that's like really fun, just real quickly. Uh... Oh, I never tried this one. This is such a hard push, guys. Oh, I can do TVT Florencio's Recall Rush? I can't remember what that is. Oh, that's where he tries to steal add-ons. Never mind. Uh, okay, we're gonna try and do Dolan's Two Factory Hellbat Drop all in, guys. This is gonna be d -d -d disgusting Disgusting. Oh my god. Alright. I'll, I'll, I'll try to make it up as I go. I'm gonna fuck it up real bad. We're gonna fuck it up. I do not know the timings. Everyone's like, what the fuck was that pig? The fuck? That was Starlord, that was not pig. You could tell. Different haircut, no glasses. That's just Starlord with the mask off. You guys, can't you tell the difference? My name's Peter Peter Cuck. And uh I like 80s music, alright? I'm here to teach you how to cheese. You all quit your compl complaining. Quit it. Quit it. Uh, yeah, we're like a bizarro world, Starlord. For sure. For sure. <clears throat> yeah, for those who don't know, um, I actually was formed originally as an idea. So, it all began where uh, Pig borrowed an account to do cheese on, because he didn't have a, a, a Smurf account after they, like, consolidated some accounts on one patch or something like that. And, um, Pig wanted to do some really cheesy, cheesy silly builds. So he borrowed his friend's account, and his friend Smurf just happened to be called Star-Lord. At the time, Pig was like, cool, I like, I like, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, that's a fun, that's a fun cinematic of the, the, the movies. And, and it didn't really mean much. But, at a certain point, Pig cheesed enough people on the ladder, that when they saw Star-Lord on the loading screen, they would try to cheese him. Because they knew there was some crazy shit coming their way. And they were like, I can't deal with that. The fuck? No way, man. They were, they were afraid. They were fearful. And they knew they just couldn't, couldn't handle it. And once a certain amount of fear manifested on the NA ladder, and a certain amount of NA players trying to blind counter rather than scout and react, Starlord became more than an idea because he had inspired the ladder to actually become even cheesier. And this is the infamous NA ladder we're talking about, guys. Oh my god, look at this greedy build.
I'm gonna be a, a greedy boy. I'm gonna try to hang out here and intercept if possible. Big Hellion Yolo is gonna come across. He's massing Hellions for his own Hellion drops. This is actually perfect. Flames ready. Very nice move by him. That's a real nice move. I might actually take him out without dying. Even if I don't, that's fine. This is actually like the sickest Dolan ever, guys. Dolan did this to me one time, like two years ago or something. And I never actually practiced the build. But I've got Blue Flame, got some Heli Bats. So he tries to clump up here, and we drop Blue Flame Hell Bats right on top of him. We move! About as much mismicro as I could possibly have. This here is a big dick build! So that's the eBay of the what if he somehow got out a. <laughs> that moment there where he, where he clumps up trying to pull back because he's like pull back there's lots of hellions it's an all-in the boys have been pulled 
Yeah, I remember basically what happened when Dolan beat me with this on the ladder. I was like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. You're an idiot, fuck you, was like my initial response, right? And then I was like, actually, you're a god. If I'm this angry after losing to something, there's something to it. I watched the replay, I wrote down the kind of rough build order. I just ad-libbed it here, but look at that. Look at those Look at those blue flame hell that drops on top of his army. You just kind of ferry him around with those medevacs. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Pure Hellions, Metavax, and uh, and and just pull the boys and maybe build like a Viking and a few random Marines in there as well. It's, it's it's so funny. This is actually just the best thing I've ever seen. Like this build is so funny. He's like oh, shit, get a tank, uh, build bunkers, and I'm like, it took me ages. I was missing Micro in real. Oh, I was so excited here. Now like you know, dropping Hellbats on that. I'm like try to repair that tank. Man. Just try. <laughs> This is such a disgusting build, guys. Yup. That's a, that's a filthy one right there. Oof. Have you no shame, sir? Says Sleep Dealer. Does this fucking guy know who he's talking to? D d d d d do you know who I am? <laughs> ha! I'm the guy who fucked up killing Thanos. It could have been over in one movie. I made Hollywood like an extra two billion dollars. That's right. I'm the fucking cheese lord. I'm an idiot. The whole point is I just, I, I play like a fucking dumbass and sometimes it works. That's right. Yeah. Jesus. Have I no shame? Of course I have no shame. Who do you think you're talking to? God damn. So looking at the build order. Uh, it should have been a, a nice double gas build. He actually takes the second gas a bit later, so he goes... Uh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong build. Oh, I have never written it up. I never wrote it up. Okay, let's write it up right now then. All right, let's let's write it up roughly off the top of my friggin' head. Um, let me move my keyboard over so I can type it up looking at it. Uh, what did we do there? Basically, just double gas. Reaper Hellion pressure opening. Um, double gas, Reaper Hellion, non-stop pressure. Uh, try to, you know, dodge past and dive in the base, create chaos, etc. Uh, go straight to the lid, and it seems to me, whilst poking the natural. So basically you just got like a few kind of, you know, it's generally the most aggressive opening you can do. Non-stop Reapers, non-stop Hellions. Try and throw them off, try and get some edges and then get that lib in the main. Um, and then behind that, we're basically going uh, go reactor plus tech lab um, and racks and factory. Uh, build, and we go, yeah, build second factory and swap onto uh, onto one. Make blue flame, three Hallions at a time and Metavax one at a time. Uh, add an armory <laughs> at any point. Before you move out, <laughs> hit with uh, a few medevacs loaded with blue flame hellbats. Uh, masses of hellions in regular form, uh, plus more rallied. Maybe one viking and a few marines. Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, and, and most of your boys. And of course, don't forget to pull the boys. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, drop a Hellbats on their army. This is the, the sickest thing. He actually did it with a Raven, apparently. So he did it with like a Raven where he's like shutting down tanks and stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, do, uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this inspired us, but I can't remember what that game was. So we're gonna take that out. We're gonna just write. We're gonna give it a name. This is gonna call uh, Napalm TVT Napalm All Napalm All In. Um, this is the Napalm All In. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Super solid. Super solid. Nah. 
It's it's so shit. I love it. No, it's great. If you if you get a cyclone and like ravens, you're actually like you know contesting their air units a little bit more, and then you're jumping in with this. You could do it that way. I can't remember if it, I mean it sounds like if he did raven and all this, he probably did it off an expansion and then pulled. But we're doing a much more all-in build. So yeah, yeah, I think this is cool. I think that's pretty sick. Hypersova, thank you very much for the 18-month resub. What's up, mate? We're just, uh, you know, you're actually seeing religion in progress here. The religion of the Star Lord happening right here. Uh, yeah, so so basically that was an old entry in the Book of Filth, which I never ended up actually fleshing out. So that's why I've, I've gone and rewritten that eyeliner. So we've just like, let's make the simplest one base held that drop all in of all time. So disgusting, so silly, so beautiful. Just the way we like it. Napalm. The Bernie boy. It's the, it's the Bernie boy all in. 